In the previous video, we understood how to solve linear equations graphically, if you have not seen that video, then the link will be found in the description and in the i button. In today's video we will try to understand how to solve linear equations in an algebraic way. So let's start the video. When the solutions of linear equations are in the form of non-integer, graphical methods are not convenient. Some examples of non-integer coordinates are given below. Root 3, 2 root 7. Minus 1.75, 3.3. 4 by 13, 1 by 19. Most of the mistakes can be made in reading these coordinates graphically. We can solve this problem with the algebraic method. In this video, we will try to understand one of those methods, the substitution method. In this example, two linear equations are given, which are to be solved by the substitution method. In this method, we can start with either of the two equations. Here we take the second equation, which is ax plus 2y equals 3, which we can also write ax is equal to 3 minus 2y. Here we have got a value of ax. Now we put the this value of ax in the first equation. The first equation is 7 ax minus 15y equals 2. Put the value of ax. 7 into 3 minus 2y which is the value of ax, minus 15y equals 2. That is 21 minus 14y minus 15y equals 2. That is 21 minus 29y equals 2. 21 is moved to the other side, so the equation is minus 29y equals 2 minus 21. That is minus 29y equals minus 19. Minus deducted from minus. So the value of y is 19 by 29. The value of y has arrived, now with the help of this we will extract the value of x as well. For that we have to put the value of y in equation 3. The equation is x is equal to 3 minus 2y. Put the value. x is equal to 3 minus 2 into 19 by 29 which is the value of y. After solving, the value of x is 49 by 29. Thus the solutions of these equations are x is equal to 49 by 29 and y is equal to 19 by 29. If you want to verify these solutions, then you can check by putting the values of x and y in both the equations. When we extract the value of one variable and put that value in the equation to get the value of another variable, then that method is called substitution method. Let's see another example, in which Amar tells his daughter that seven years ago he was seven times as old as his daughter, and three years from now his age will be three times as old as his daughter. We have to find out by the substitution method, how old is Amar and his daughter. Let the age of Amar now be x years and the age of his daughter is y years. Seven years ago Amar's age would be x minus seven. And the age of his daughter would be y minus seven. As Amar told that seven years ago his age was seven times the age of his daughter, then the equation is formed. x minus seven is equal to seven into y minus seven. That is x minus seven is equal to seven y minus forty nine. The equation is formed by bringing all the values together. x minus seven minus seven y plus forty nine is equal to zero. That x minus seven y plus forty two equal to zero. Here comes our first equation. Now let us look at the second situation to get the second equation. Which was that after three years from today Amar's age will be three times that of his daughter. The second situation was after three years. So after three years from now Amar's age will be x plus 3. And the age of his daughter will be y plus 3. Then, the pair of linear equations that represent the situation is x plus 3 equal to 3 into y plus 3. That is x plus 3 is equal to 3y plus 9. We can write x is equal to 3y plus 9 minus 3. Here we get the value of x. Now we put this value in the first equation. First equation was x minus 7y plus 42 is equal to 0. Let's put the value of x. 3y plus 6 minus 7y plus 42 is equal to 0. That is minus 4y plus 48 equals 0. Minus 4y is equal to minus 48. Minus minus cancel. y is equal to 48 by 4. That is 12. Means right now the age of his daughter which we considered as y is the value of 12. Today his daughter's age is 12 years. Now by putting the value of y in the second equation, we will find the age of Amar. Equation was x equals 3y plus 6. 
Let's put the value of y in it. x equals 3 into 12 plus 6. That is 36 plus 6 which is equals to 42. Means today Amar's age is 42 years. Let us see a last example which we also saw in the graphical method. The cost of two pencils and three erasers is 9 rupees. And cost of four pencils and six erasers is 18 rupees. Equations are made. 2x plus 3y equal 9. And 4x plus 6y equal 18. First we get the value of x from the first equation. After solve the first equation we get x is equal to 9 minus 3y by 2. We take this as the third equation. By putting the value of this x in the second equation, we get the value of y. 4 into 9 minus 3y by 2 which is the value of x. Plus 6y is equal to 18. After solving this we get 18 on both sides. What is it? Here the value of y has not come. This means that x will also have no value. But how did this happen? This happened because both the equations are same. If you divide the second equation by 2, you will find that both the equations are the same. Meaning they have infinite solutions. In this video we have understood the substitution method through many examples. In the next video, we will try to understand the elimination method. Till then take care of yourself and don't forget to like and share the video.